Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to migrate your application to Java 11 using the WebSphere Application Migration Toolkit. This is a static analysis tool that will scan your application and attempt to identify what migration issues you will run into given the specified migration scenario. The tool we're looking at today is an, Eclipse, is an Eclipse plugin. You can download this tool by following the instructions listed on the tools page by dragging and dropping the install button listed here or through the Eclipse marketplace by searching for WebSphere application migration toolkit. Thank you. Here we are in my Eclipse workspace. This workspace already has a tool installed, and I'm just going to show you guys the whole Java 11 migration process. Here's my sample application. First thing you want to do is take a look at the Run menu, and in this menu, you see four new options. The option we're interested in today is the Analysis option, so I'm going to click on that, and then we'll be taken to the Software Analyzer Configurations. From here, I'm going to create a new configuration. I'm going to call it Java 11 migration and under this scope tab you're just specifying um, what all you want to scan so I'm going to scan the entire workspace if I wanted to select specific applications I would click here and select the application but it's going to scan the entire workspace and I'm going to click on the rules tab and from here I need to select the rule set the rule set I'm interested in is the web Street application server version migration select that hit set and I'll be performing a migration from IBM Java 8 to OpenJDK 11. I'm on Liberty, and so I'm not going to make any other changes besides um, the Java version. So again, and hit OK, apply, and analyze. And then after you hit analyze, you should see the software analyzer results window pop up with some results. So um, from here, you can view all the rules that were flagged. And so I'm just going to walk through each individual rule and speak on them and address what changes need to be made, if any. So on this first one, um, you just select the rule. If you double tap, it'll take you to the exact um, line number that's being flagged. And in order to view for more information, what should, what should be in this later right here is a short help. If you want more information, click on detail help and it gives you a brief explanation. All this rule is talking about, or is mentioning, is it's saying that this filter arguments method um, has a behavior change when going to Java 11. And so I actually, I'm actually aware that this issue is not going to affect me in my migration. So I'm just going to move on from it. And then this next one, let me click on detailed help and jump to the, to the specific line number. This rule is basically saying that this get peer method has been removed from Java 8 to Java 11. And it is recommending that we change that method call to is displayable. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change. And that should take care of this issue. So moving on, this last one. Okay. So for this last one, it's important to address that the biggest change in Java 11 was the removal of the Java EE modules. This rule is touching on the JAXP module I'm using, and all you need to do, all I need to do here, is make sure that the JAXB22 feature is included in, in my server XML. I I already have this feature enabled, so no further action is required from me on this. But if you want to initialize like this, that that's what you need to check for. So from there, that pretty much addresses all the issues. And this is basically the scenario you will be going through when performing the Java 11 migration. Hope this video was helpful. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.